Hi friends, welcome back to Frosty Eye Candy and Free Lesson Wednesday. So I'm gonna jump straight in as I usually do and show you the dried and resin results. And there's that lovely uh, permanent red light, that beautiful pink cell activator. And we can see the lovely dusty rows of the Athena and then a lovely kind of dusty blue of the blue eyes. But then when we get them in some light, <laughs> Pow, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> See, out of the light, it's getting nice and close. Pow, in the light and all of those little piggies, the interference piggies, the uh, comet, blue eyes, and Athena just absolutely serving us such a show. So I've just kind of run through those <laughs> colors with you completely already, but let's just uh, see them so you know what I'm talking about. So the first color I put down is this one by TLP. It's a TLP lineup this Wednesday, guys. And this one is blue eyes. And then I put down some of this one, this beautiful dusty rose color. This is Athena from uh, TLP. There we go, Athena. And then the last one we're using, it's one of my all time faves. It's actually my <laughs> top two fave. This is a Comet by TLP and it's the Interference Red and then the Interference Gold the other way. So those are the colors we're using. And yeah, as I just said, when we mentioned the, uh, the cell activator, it's this one, unusual one for me, I know, but it's the Permanent Red Violet Light by uh, Amsterdam Standard Acrylics. And there's just have one other little look at the uh, finished result again. And then we shall get on with the creation video. Okay then my friends, thank you very much. That's enough chitty chat chat. I'm not sure if the camera's pick or the microphone's picking it up, but they're currently trucking snow out of the little subdivision where I live because we have so much. So if you hear some commotion in the background, that's what it is. Anyway, chitty chat, chitty chat, chitty chat chat. Oh, let's stop it. Let's get the camera pointing down and we'll get on with making the piece, okay? Oh, okay then my friends, time for the voiceover part of the video. And as we know from the beginning video, we're pouring on four coasters here and we're pouring on them all at the same time. We're doing a swipe, uh, sorry, a bloom vine over all four of them. Going in for a slightly closer view so you guys can really get a good picture and you can see how much paint I'm actually laying down. I want to end up with some negative space or rather some negative step base with uh, frosty modifications that I want to keep. So. You can notice how much paint I'm putting down here. And this one is the first TLP and it is blue eyes. And the pillow paint, I should say. It's also Glidden Premium in white satin. And I put down roughly around about an ounce of paint for each coaster. So around about four ounces of paint, maybe five for the whole four together. And that last pigment there was Athena by TLP. And now I'm just adding the little extra loops of color so we can do those frosty mods after we've done the bloom vine. So I'd love to tell you that these four coasters are available, my friends. They're not actually currently in my, uh, in my Facebook store. But if you do like what you see here very much, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe if you hadn't subscribed already. But uh, if you'd actually like to purchase these set of four coasters, they are available. So please send me a direct message. So that was me adding the Athena down and just the extra little bits of Athena so we can do those frosty mods. And now one of my all time favorites, this is Comet by TLP, the interference uh, gold and then kind of red magenta. Uh, but you can see again, adding those thin little loops of color very slowly to those areas of negative space. So we can modify them and we're gonna keep some of those modifications on the coasters. And as you could tell from the beginning video, even though I say so myself, I like to think it came out rather prettily. So I briefly just mentioned it there, my friends, but if there is anybody that isn't watching right now, may I, uh, everybody, <laughs> if there is anybody that's watching right now that hasn't subscribed, please subscribe, my friends. Uh, it, uh, 
when you subscribe you can interact and leave comments on my videos you can give me a thumbs up and a like and this is rather important because the more thumbs up or likes we get on our videos the more likely youtube is to suggest them to people that haven't seen them before so excuse the back of my head while we're just blowing out half of this bloom vine here <laughs> but yeah bloom vine coasters and there's that lovely um permanent red violet light as the cell activator so it's just this fantastic bright pink color and as always with bloom vines you do them in two halves and here we go for blowing out the other half excuse my blonde hair again i would also like to take this opportunity to thank you guys that have joined our facebook group the acrylic crazy train and if you haven't joined already please search us out on facebook it's a acrylic pouring group for beginners it's a safe space where beginners can share their work without fear of uh, mean comments or ridicule and only get helpful constructive uh, criticisms and help for their work from many artists from all over the world that are just waiting and very happily watch you succeed so please join us the acrylic crazy train so in we go for the frosty mods. As I said before, just kind of going with the flow of the actual bloom vine, just adding to the movement and the motion that's already in it. And in we go for the second one. There you go. And then just into the middle, continue on into a little spiral. And there you go, the frosty modifications. I am laying claim to these. Uh, I've never seen anybody add extra lines of color outside their area of fluid art, uh, simply for the modification reasons. So I am owning it. These are called frosty modifications or frosty mods for short. So while we're watching me just do the last little, little few modifications on this bloom vine, I'd love to tell you about our live Sunday show every Sunday at 1 p.m. PST, which will be 3 p.m. Central and 4 p.m. EST, the joy of pouring. Please join us on my YouTube channel, the same one you're watching now. And please join us in the live ch chat before the show for all the fun and laughs. So please join us, the joy of pouring every Sunday at 1 p.m. Going in for the full view and the full spin, in real time friends for all the people that are watching for the first time and the people that are learning so they can see exactly how long and how fast I spin my pieces for. I know I say this every time but I spin them for slightly longer than most artists because I like to try and get the excess paint off in one or two spins at the most as this helps us retain our beautiful packet patterns, our modifications and our cell structures. But in for a nice close up, wow. Looking pretty good, even though I say so myself. I'm sorry, I don't wish to sound big headed. Oh, and there's a little quick preview of the interference pigments there singing away. But just checking for movement. And we're going out again for another spin. Uh, first, the anti, uh, first the clockwise spin and now the anti-clockwise spin or counterclockwise. And there we go. We've got enough paint off in the two spins. We've got some great modifications here, some great cell patterns and some beautiful fades between these pigments. It's looking really great. So the cell activator I'm using, it is the Shetty Art recipe. If you'd like to know what Shetty Art is, please follow the web address on the bottom of the screen now. I have a 15% off discount code that I shall put on the screen and I highly recommend it. So thank you so much, my friends. Thank you for joining us. Please like, share and subscribe my work. And as always, happy pouring.